Hi kids! Welcome back! For today, we are going to discuss your lesson about the parts and functions of the female reproductive system. For our most essential learning competency, describe the parts of the female reproductive system and their functions. Let's ignite your curiosity, discover something new, unleash your inner scientist with Science 5! I am your virtual teacher, Teacher Regine. The mother carries her child inside her womb for about 9 months. Do you have any idea how does it happen? This organ, the female reproductive organ, is responsible for it. It produces egg cells that, when it undergo fertilization with the help of sperm cell, it can be developed into a baby. For our guide questions, number one, what are the parts of the female reproductive system? Number two, what are the functions of each part? And number three, what are the ways on how to take care of it? This is the female reproductive system. It is located in the middle part of the lower abdomen of a female human body. The different parts of the female reproductive system are ovary, fallopian tube, uterus, cervix, and vagina. They are all located inside the female's body. Ovary. It produces the egg cells and the female sex hormones, estrogen and progesterone. Egg cell is the female sex cell. Estrogen and progesterone are responsible for female secondary characteristics such as monthly occurrence of menstrual period, widening of hips, and enlargement of breasts. Fallopian tube. It is a tube that leads the egg from the ovary to the uterus. It is also the usual site of fertilization of egg cell and sperm cell. Females also has two fallopian tubes that connects the two ovaries to the uterus. Fertilization takes place in this part when the egg cell and sperm cell unite. Uterus, also called as the womb. It is a hollow muscular organ located at the lower abdomen. It has a soft inner lining called uterine lining or endometrium. This lining gives blood and nutrients to the fetus as it grows for nine months. The uterus is also the implantation site for the fertilized egg. If the egg is not fertilized, the uterine lining together with the egg cell will break and becomes red discharge during menstruation. Cervix it, it is, is located a narrow at the lower part of the uterus. the uterus and the vagina. It also expands to allow the baby to pass through during childbirth. Vagina, also called as birth canal. It is a hollow muscular tube that extends from the cervix to the vaginal opening called vulva. Vulva is the end of the vagina which expands as the baby passes through it during normal childbirth. Ways on how to take care of the female reproductive system. Number one, always wash your external reproductive organs with mild soap and water regularly. Number two, do not borrow underwear from anybody. Number three, Always wear clean underwear and change it daily. Number four, use feminine wash three times a week. 
Number 5. Wear sanitary napkin whenever needed. And number 6. If you experience pain on your reproductive organ, seek medical advice immediately. Did you learn something new in our today's lesson? Good job! I'm so happy to hear that. See you again in our next lesson. This is your virtual teacher, Teacher Regine. See you again in our next one. Bye!